Hey guys, it's Tech up here and today I'm going to show you how to get root on your Nexus 6 running the latest Android version NuGet 7.0.0 and in addition to that you'll also get Super SU. As you can see I am currently not rooted. So let's get started. First off you're going to power off your device and enter the bootloader mode by holding down the power button and the volume down key at the same time. Now once you are in bootloader mode you'll use the volume down key to navigate to recovery mode and press the power button to select the option. If you don't have a custom recovery, I'll put a video link on the screen right now so you can watch a tutorial on how to do it. Okay, so then you can plug in your device into your PC and we can start. All right, so then you can go to this website, which I'll link for you in the description and scroll down a little bit towards the download section. And then you'll click the stable download link over there in this zip file section. Once you are redirected, you can then press the download link, which will download the file for you. After the file has been downloaded, you can go to your Nexus 6 device storage on your PC. Once you're in your Nexus 6 device storage, you are going to create a folder, although you don't have to, but preferably you do. You create a folder with any name that you want to store the zip file, but I've already created one for this purpose called flashes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to locate the zip that you just downloaded and you're going to copy that file and then you're going to go back to your phone storage and paste it into the folder that you just created. All right, once the file is in there, you're pretty much set to go and you can close the window. Now we can start flashing the zip file. So you're going to have to go back to your phone and then if you're using TWRP, you're going to click on install and then you're going to browse through the folders and find the folder where you placed the zip file into. And then you're going to press the zip file and then you'll have to swipe to confirm if you're using TWRP. That's going to take around half a minute. And once that is done, you are going to wipe cache slash Dalvik just in case. It always helps to do that. And then you can swipe and reboot the system. Booting it can take several minutes and it's perfectly normal if your phone is looping a couple of times. So don't worry if that happens. So once Android starts, you will now see that you have an app installed called Super User, Super SU, made by Chainfire. And then you can open the app and select your settings and that's going to pretty much activate it. And then you can get started. And as you can see, it's going to start asking me for root access for the apps that I already have which use root. And to show you that I am rooted, I will use the root checker and verify my root. And there you go. That's pretty much how you root your phone. It's very easy and very simple. And as you see, it is the latest Android version and everything's working perfectly fine. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. If you have any issues, make sure to comment them down below and I'll try to answer as many as I can.